So welcome, hello, uh, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Lindsay Sharman. I am the curator of the Art Gallery of Alberta. Uh, and today we're going to be doing a drawing activity with Sean and Emma Rockett. Um, Sean was selected to be in the upcoming exhibition Borderline, uh, the 2020 Biennial of Contemporary Art. The Biennial is an exhibition that happens uh, about every two years and looks or looked at contemporary art in Alberta. This year, the exhibition has been curated by me, uh, along with Felicia Gay, Francesca Hebert Spence, and Sandra Fraser. Up until this year, the Biennial looked only at Alberta and artists that were working within Alberta's provincial borders. This year, uh, rather than looking at that strict um, geographic boundary, uh, the biennial instead focused on the territorial borders of the treaty regions four, six, seven, eight, ten, 10, uh, to also open a conceptual conversation around borders, uh, which are prioritized, what it means to cross them, challenge them, or be, it, or be in proximity to them. So the treaty region that uh, we are in here um, in Alberta is Treaty 6, as is our partner institution, the Rainy Modern. Uh, we are also in Edmonton right now, uh, the traditional land meeting place of diverse Indigenous people, including the Cree, Blackfoot, Métis, Nakota Sioux, Iroquois, Dene, and Ojibwe, Soto, and Anishinaabe. Um, one of the many sub-themes that has emerged in the biennial is that of the relationship between generations. Uh, and one of the things that Sean is interested in is the world that he leaves to his daughter, Emma, uh, and the legacies uh, that we all leave to generations that come after us. So Sean um, is a, a centennial professor in the Department of Art and Design at the University of Alberta and lives and works on Treaty 6 territory. He has exhibited his prints, drawings, and installations, and artist books extensively throughout Canada, the United States, Europe, and Japan. Uh, Caulfield has received numerous awards, grants um, in Canada and the US, and in 2017, he was elected to the Arts Division of the Academy of the Arts and Humanities of the Royal Society of Canada. Emma Caulfield uh, was born on July 10th, 2013, and currently lives and goes to school in Edmonton, located on Treaty 6 territory. Emma is currently in the second grade. Uh, she en enjoys drawing and making crafts, uh, and currently her favorite subject uh, for drawing is history. Um, so before I hand it over to Sean and Emma, just some uh, housekeeping things. Uh, if you're joining us live, um, you'll see in your webinar um, window, there is a rejoin uh, button. So if you're ever experiencing any technical difficulties, if uh, something freezes, uh, or if you, you see there's a little bit of a lag, just click that and it should clear everything up for you. Um, as well, if you're joining us live, there is a chat function. Um, and Sophia, who is helping us out with our tech things today, is going to be monitoring that. Um, and so she'll be kind of looking at your questions and answering them as best she can. Uh, if there are any questions that she uh, cannot answer for you, uh, we will follow up. Um, later. Um, there are templates that you can join along. Uh, so if you're watching us live, uh, you should be able to see um, on your screen a link to be able to download those PDFs. Uh, and if you're watching us uh, later on YouTube, uh, the links will just be in the description below. Um, so without further ado, um, welcome Sean and Emma. Uh, I'm Sean, I'll, I'll just hand things over to you. Uh, and I'm really excited for you to lead us through this drawing activity. Okay. So uh, thanks for that introduction. And I just want to start with um, saying thanks to the AGA. Uh, it's great to be here. And we're really looking forward to having some fun drawing, aren't we? Emma? Yes, we are. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So uh, today we're going to do a really simple uh, and in I think interesting drawing game uh, that looks at chance and looks at collaboration. And it's a game that was originally sort of developed by the Surrealists. Um, and it is based on earlier games that use language and text. And they sort of adapted it um, 
to draw in, and it's a lot of fun, I think, and, and very simple to do. Um, it goes by a lot of names, but we're going to call it the Exquisite Body Drawing, <laughs> because that's more family friendly. And okay? it's also called the Exquisite Corpse. It is called that too, but we're going to say the Exquisite Body Drawing. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'll show you how to do it, and you, you, know, you can follow along at home, and it's really simple, but again, I think it's a lot of fun. Before I uh, show you practically how to do it, though, I do have a little PowerPoint, and I won't go on too long, don't worry, we'll get to the fun part of drawing, but I thought it might be interesting to see a few examples and talk a little bit about the history. So as I mentioned, um, the, this, this drawing game called The Exquisite Body was sort of uh, invented by the Surrealists, and here's just a, a shot of this a Surrealist group in 1936. And they, as you, many of you may know, were a group of artists who were really interested in uh, they might call the subconscious or unconscious, dreams, chance, automatic drawing, ways to kind of generate art in unexpected ways. Um, and so they looked at those sorts of things to generate their, their art practice. And this game came out of that, that exercise. Okay, next. So here's an, uh, a kind of early example of a serious exquisite body drawing. And the principle is really simple. You start a drawing, one person starts a drawing, and then they fold the paper in such a way that the next person can't see what the last person draw, drew. And then you sort of pass it along. And I think this is a great example. You can see these really whimsical and unexpected things emerge from this kind of exchange. Next drawing. Uh, we're going to do it through drawing today, but you can do it through all sorts of ways. And here's an example uh, where where collage is used, so you could collage things down, fold the paper, and then kind of uh, extend the drawing to more collage. Uh, next drawing. So this, you know, the Surrealists were historic, you know, it's for, from the history of art, but it's a practice that's carried on today. Uh, this is a contemporary um, example from the Chapman brothers, and that's a pretty interesting interview. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We are show an example of ours. We are going to do it in a second. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to mention is there's an exhibition right now at the AGL called The Net Ness. And it's a great show. And there's a wonderful piece by Luane Martineau called The Knitting Woman. And it's a sculpture, but I think in many ways it feels like a piece that's speaking to this tradition of the exquisite body and the serious um, movement. So it's a if you have, I, I think the show comes down today, but it was a great show, and hopefully some of you saw that piece. Okay, next slide. So here's an example that we did. Didn't we? <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I draw the middle part. Yeah. And I draw, and then draw the head. Yeah, I drew the head, you drew the middle, and you drew the front feet. And we did it again. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to the next slide. So uh, this is a, one of my uh, etchings, and I just wanted to share it because uh, this idea of bringing things together and kind of this idea of hybridity uh, is something that keeps, is something I'm interested in my, in my own practice. And this wasn't done through an exclusive course, but I think you can see I'm sort of drawing on that tradition of looking at the unexpected. And then the next one is a far better drawing, and this one's by me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I think we can see your uh, Tradition of serialism being carried forward really well here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think that's the last image. Yeah, okay, so you can we'll switch over and let's get to the fun part. And um, as was mentioned, um, I did send out some PDFs where you can you can use those to start if you want to join along with us. I'm gonna need that in a second. But uh, to get started, it's super simple. Uh, if, if you want to join along at home and do this right now, just grab an eight and a half sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, and however many people you might be drawing with. Or if you're you know, just drawing on your own, just grab one. And of course, you could carry on and collaborate later. So all you have to do is just break your paper into thirds. And I think with an eight and a half piece of paper, that's roughly nine and 9.3 centimeters. I'd mark that out, and we just fold it, super simple. Fold it right now. Okay. Yeah. And, and we're gonna advise there. Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, my dad's gonna work on this. Um, and basically, I'm gonna draw the middle, but basically, I'm not, so who knows? <laughs> and also, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I do. So here we go. We've got our paper uh, in three parts, and you can see how I, this might start to unfold. You draw here, you fold this over, and then you pass it to your, your collaborator. I think we're both going to start. So that's how you get started. So again, if you want to draw along with us, you can start that way. Or if, again, if you download, I have some some heads started already. So one of the first things you want to do once you've started, though, is to ask yourself, do you want to make a body? In which case, uh, you draw this way, maybe vertically. And so your, your group of collaborators can decide that. And a body was traditionally often used because it's easy to say, okay, that's going to be the head, that's going to be the torso, that's going to be the legs. But you can also do kind of anything. Like I did, a, you know, you could work um, and do a landscape as well, right? Um, so decide the orientation and decide maybe the theme could be a, a good first way to start. One of the things about this exercise that's great is, of course, um, it can happen really quickly. You can do this, you know, very short exercise and exchange. You get lots of drawings done, or you can do it over time and it can be extended kind of more slowly. The other thing to say is, of course, we were just doing it with a short piece of paper, a small piece of paper, eight and a half, eleven. But you could, of course, work as big as you wanted, and again, extend it over a long period of time. So, very simple. Let's kind of get started. Now, the one trick to this is once you've done, let's say, these these are started and they have the head parts uh, begun, and once you fold it over, you have to give your partner, the next person, just enough information about where, I hope you can all see that, where they're going to start their next drawing, right? And that can be a fun part, because you can sort of direct the next person about what, you know, get them to imagine what maybe is on that other side of that drawing. So this one's mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this one is yours. So we're going to just go ahead and start drawing. You got your tool there? Oh, yeah, and then you've got to make sure your collaborators know that this is going to be the middle part of the body. We're going to be the middle. This is the middle, the torso. Yeah, we're going to, yeah that's it. So you decide what you're going to do. I'm going to choose my, my tool here. I'm going to choose this black pen. I like black pens. I'm choosing my new pen that okay. I got yesterday, actually. Okay, let's start to draw. Now, Emma, you haven't given me a lot to go on here. But thank you. I've got some ideas here, so let me start with that. You got an idea? I have my idea. Okay. Oops. Don't talk in the middle of YouTube, Dad. Okay. It's kind of nervous in the middle. It makes you nervous when I talk? Yeah, because it's online, <laughs> Dad. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Well, we got to tell people how to do this, though. <sighs> Anyways, just so you know, my mom's watching. Yeah, mom's here too. So one thing that uh, for people that might be teachers or working institutions that teach art, um, this can be a really interesting exercise for a number of students because uh, what you can do is you can have 10, 15, 20 students and they all get a a sort of section to draw, right? And so you can extend this project out, again, over a short period in a class, and that can be kind of exciting, or you can extend it over a long period um, and have this kind of uh, project unfold over time. And I've done some projects, actually, a, a colleague of mine, Patrick Mann, uh, organized one of these around the theme of water, and the idea was to make a river. And uh, so he passed these across the country, and we ended up in the end with this um, artist book, and it unfolded. But we didn't see it till the very end. So it can it can be a project that can kind of grow and get and get big and, and happen over time. Yeah. Okay, Emma says I need to be quiet because we have to focus, and I hear we'll be quiet for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, my dad's a little bit of a crazy kind of guy right now because he's, he's sometimes grumpy in the morning, so don't blame me. I need my coffee in the morning. Yeah. You have coffee this morning. I do have some coffee. How's it going? Oh, that's another important thing. Thank you. I know I'm not supposed to talk, but I have to talk. Um, it's very tempting to cheat and look at that drawing underneath, but you can't do that, right? You gotta keep it, keep it secret. So if you are doing a big project and it's over time and there's many people, sometimes what you can do is actually cut the drawing, scan it, and then reassemble it digitally later, or just reassemble it, you know, in the old-fashioned Large mesh method. No, you shouldn't. No, you can't. Remember, you're alive. Okay, man. But don't be embarrassing right <laughs> in front of your daughter. It's hard for me not to be embarrassing. <sighs> <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy, right? Okay, I'm. Uh, how's your drawing going? Papa! I'm not looking, don't worry. Would you mind? Actually, that's another thing. It's good to maybe be a little set. We're a little close in this exercise. It's hard not to look. <sighs> I hope you don't shoot. I'm not shooting. Because remember, you're on lot. I know. I'm making a drawing kind of like you, Papa. Like that? Yeah. So as you start to finish your section, what you want to start to think about is how you want to direct the next section, right? The next person, or, so the next person knows how to kind of carry on the drawing. So I'm starting to think about that. You know? I gotta think about the negative space too, then. Uh, and Dad? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's gonna be another section that's kind of weird, kind of like the bottom, uh -huh. but it's gonna be the middle section, just so you know. Okay. Well, my middle section's starting to come together. How's yours? Are we gonna be done soon? Um, a little bit. Not a little bit. So we're working on the negative space here, right? Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So one of the things I think that's great about this exercise, I mean, it's a lot of fun, it's a game, and being playful and art is good, but I think it speaks well to, speaks effectively to how chance is an important part of making art, isn't it? Basically, um, yeah. yes. Right. It's not good to control it, is it? Yeah. <laughs> good to have some surprises when you make that, right? But at the same time, you need a little bit of structure, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't want to go on too long here. How's your drawing going? You're going to be ready to switch soon now? Uh, not very soon. Not very soon? Let's, how's it coming? I'm sorry. Right, well, maybe three more minutes on this section, okay? Okay, you gotta get that going. Okay. All right. I'm almost ready. Are you out? Okay. The other thing that's great about this drawing game is, of course, it talks about collaboration, right? Mm -hmm. Good to collaborate and make an art, right? Yeah. Don't have to own everything, right? Okay, you ready? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. A little bit more. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. All right, I'm starting to think about how I'm going to pass this on to you. I guess you kind of are seeing what I'm doing now, aren't you? You ready? Okay, so next step you're going to do 
is you have to think about how you want to direct me. So I'm just going to draw a little bit over the edge here. Um, a little bit. Just so you kind of tell me where to start. Where to start, exactly. Okay, ready? The big change room. So the tricky part here now is you want to fold in such a way that the person can't see. Well, obviously, Em and I are close right now, so this is a little bit tricky. But in a perfect world, we wouldn't see anything, and it would be a surprise, right? Yeah, I know. You're kind of doing the perfect thing. You are doing the perfect Okay, so I'm going to fold that for you. I can kind of see what's happening, but that's okay. All right. That's where you want me to start? <laughs> yeah. So, so Emma's, again, I've given Emma an indication where to start her drawing. Ah, don't. I'm with you. And then she's told me where to start. Okay. Here we go. So this is the bottom? Now we're at the feet. We're doing the feet now, right? Okay. okay. You got an idea for feet? Yeah. It's kind of a mystery. So again, we're doing, uh, we're kind of thinking about a body today, but if you do this drawing game, you can think of all sorts of things. It could be animals, it could be monsters. What else could it be, Hank? Okay. Landscapes. Yeah, maybe landscapes. Landscapes. Whatever. Robots. <laughs> Dad, why are you into robots right now? Robots are cool. <sighs> Okay. And of course, the other thing that can be interesting, we're kind of doing this today a little bit, is what at what pace you do this game. Is it is it a drawing exercise that's really quick? You'd like to put a time limit on and say each section you only got five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, and you're drawing really fast. And you're forcing your brain not to think as you're drawing so fast. Or do you make it a really slow game? Okay. Over months, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, okay. I think I'm kind of falling back on something I've drawn before here. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, I see. I have to get under the pressure. Okay. Are you done? I'm not done. done. Are you done with this? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't look at me. Hey, how about the negative space? Do you have any drawing in the negative? It's actually not going to be a negative space, but it's kind of going to be it. Mm. Positive, negative, figure drawing, think about that stuff? Mm, yeah, <laughs> don't be too silly. Because remember, you are on YouTube. I know, but you, you got to think about figure drawing the way that you Dad, <laughs> You can't just draw the figures. Stay silly. Okay. Mm. <laughs> And look what it done. Okay, are you done? How are we doing for let's go a few more minutes, honey. Well, we haven't done mine already. You sure? I mean, I don't look at mine. Okay. I won't look at you. I know what you're doing. Chicken and You know what this reminds me of? Well, we can talk about it when we see the Okay. You think you're ready? Yeah. Okay. You guys ready for the big reveal? You kind of have seen it already, but it'll still be exciting. And here we go. The big reveal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see this. Can you see it? So you can see how exciting that is, right? Yeah. Let's see. What, is your, what does yours remind you of? Mine reminds me of like history, but not quite history. Yeah. And you see it at the bottom, what do you think it looks like? Yeah. Is that an Egyptian yes. uh, like from ancient Egypt? Yeah. yeah. And what do you think the middle looks like? It's like a bird body. <laughs> bird body, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like kind of, you know, you know, kind of like. Doesn't have a shirt on? Doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With feathers. In some reason, it has those. Uh, it has a belly button. It's a belly button and uh, yeah. 
a chest. And a chest. And how about the head? What's the head look like? Looks like a pretty much a, a flower. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? How about this one? What do you think that looks like? It looks like the head of a cabana. Uh huh. With woods mm -hmm. and chicken feet. Yeah. What do the chicken feet remind you of? Baba Yaga. That's right, Baba Yaga. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. So, what are we going to do next? Hmm. You know what we're going to do next, huh? What? what date is it today? I don't know, but today, today we're going to be talking about Halloween that's decorations. Right. <laughs> It's September 5th today, and it's never too soon to be thinking about Halloween. That's just around the corner, isn't it? So this game is a great way to make what? Of your, you can use this as your front window. That's right, yeah. Halloween direct decorations, right? Yeah, this is part of what the workshop is. Yeah, so should we cut these out? Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. cut out. So, Never too soon to start thinking about Halloween. And this is a great way to make some decorations for your front window. And when Halloween, what is it about, I guess almost two months um, away, October 31st? Yeah. Um, um, I think we should all try to plaster our entire front window with Halloween de decorations. What do you think? Uh -huh. So we can't even see out of our front windows, right? I get the cool of this game actually. Yeah. Actually, actually helps me like uh, you know. Relax. Kind of, no, not that <laughs> silly dad. It kind of makes me think of history. Sorry, my dad's a little bit embarrassing today. There we go. Look at that, eh? So. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. Um, maybe we could do one more quickly and then wrap up. Okay, okay anyways. I'm going to pull one more for you, okay? And there we go. We're just folding another one here. And of course, after you've opened it up, you can keep drawing on it. Absolutely. That's where it gets really interesting, right? Yeah? Can I use the pens? Yeah, let's trade pens. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to do one more. And you guys can join along at home, right in? Mm -hmm. Is this the feet or the middle? Uh, that's the middle again. We're in the middle. Yeah. Okay. And you think, and I'll have, well, which pen am I using this one? Can you think of some creatures from mythology that maybe kind of feel like this? Yeah. Feel like they're made up of different things? Kind of like. Okay. Okay, I will. I, I can think of some like maybe from Greek mythology, creatures that were part animal. No! How dare you be embarrassing? Sorry, my dad's a little bit embarrassing yeah. today. Would you mind? Oh, I repeated what I did before. I made a mistake. Dad. Oh, why did you guys do this stuff? Well, you know, that's the problem with artists, and sometimes you get in a rut and you just sort of do the same thing over and over. And again, maybe this is a good example of how you can sort of break, break that and do something like this, you know? Collaborate with someone, take some chances, make a drawing where you don't know where it's going, right? Thank <laughs> you.
I'm not looking at you. I just want to make sure you're thinking about bigger general relationships. Huh? If you want to turn the light on, you can. Okay. okay. But don't keep it on too loud. Okay. Too loud? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Sorry, it's loud. All right. How are we doing? We're going to change in about three minutes then, okay? What? Hmm? Now we're doing drawings that are mostly line here, but of course you could do more tonal drawings and drawings with color, and this is just sort of because we're working a bit quickly. Or of course, as Emma was starting to do with this one, which is a great one, um, you could go back and draw into it with color, tone. Are right, you ready to switch soon? Yes, ready. I'm ready now. You ready now? I'm ready now. Okay, right. Ready? Right. Tell me where to draw there. Oh, yeah. That was stuck there. I gotta do this. Now we're just passing this back and forth, but again, we could have a large group and lots of people. And that can be really interesting. Okay. Let me clean that off. Okay, got it. Is that one's mine? That one's yours. Do you want me to keep using this one? Or? Yeah. Okay. So this is the feet now. Okay. Yeah. Similar to yours. You think so? Mm, but we'll see. Okay. I guess it's, it's a bit hard to see on that screen when you're drawing it. Eh? It's going to be kind of like you, but not really like you. I'm going to go with the. There you go. Crumb kind of foot here then. Robert Crumb. Robert Crumb. Yeah. So well, I saw Robert Munch, but it's Robert Crumb. Well, there is a Robert Munch too, I think he's a cartoonist from the 60s named Robert Crumb. I mean, uh, yeah, Crumb. Don't be silly. Remember, you're all alive again. I know, I'm aware of that. <laughs> oh, sorry again. My dad's going to be all grumpy all the time. I'm not grumpy all the time. Shush, don't be embarrassing. Sorry, anyways. I hope your pop has enough to be embarrassing. Hmm. Okay. How are we doing? Are you done? Don't not, look! I'm not looking. You almost done? I know. Not really. Hey, 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 we can go to the market, shopping, I mean, what in the know, world are you thinking? <laughs> Those things are great too, but drawing is pretty awesome. Dad, yeah. don't be too embarrassing. I told you. Many times. How are you dying? We have to watch. Alright. Are you ready to exchange again? Or? Okay. You good? You done? Am we done? Okay, the big reveal on uh, number two. Here we go. Oh, I got to turn it off.
Do you see that all right? That looks pretty good, huh? Let's see it again. Ooh, I like yours. What do you, what'd you do for legs there? Huh? Uh, nails. Uh, ooh, nails for legs. Yeah. And, what do you, yeah. and what do you think about what, what's the body? And then the body is kind of like... It's kind of like... Mm, I don't know what to say. I kind of repeated myself, didn't I? Oh, I see. I kind of both look like really easy. Dad! And then there's your flower head again. And then let's look at mine quickly. What do you think the head looks like? Looks like um, some kind of tree with the two round things. Uh, yeah. yeah. And what about the middle there? You drew a tree too, right? No. No. And then when I draw for the bottom. Big shoes? <laughs> some big shoes. What? Yeah. <laughs> Robert Crumb shoes. Yeah. Robert Crumb. So maybe we'll cut this one out and then we'll just wrap up. Does that sound all right? Okay. Uh, so again, remember, great way to, to get Halloween decorations started. And I think it's September 5th now, so it's never too early to get going, right? And I think, Em, you and I should commit to what? 10 drawings a day? Alright, I'm going to finish cutting this one out. John and Emma, thank you so much. No I, hope, I hope that was fun for others. Those are amazing drawings, and I think that the two of you might become YouTube stars. <laughs> <I hope not. laughs> might be a career change. Those look really amazing. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, again, John will have uh, work up in the 2020 Biennial of Contemporary Art. Um, so that's a, an exhibition that is part of the exhibition is at the AGA in Edmonton, and part of the exhibition is at the Ramey Modern in Saskatoon, and they are both open to the public on Saturday, September 26th. Um, so you'll be able to see Sean's work um, and Emma's influence. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Just so you know, my dad is safe. So forgive me for that. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>